the Sun Belt Championship game. Coastal Carolina and Troy. Troy is an eight-point favorite. The total sits at 48. This one is a home game for the Troy Trojans. Of course, in John Summerall's first year there, uh, Jamie Chadwell might be uh, coaching somewhere else on Sunday. We'll see what ends up happening with that. But this one, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. Let's go on and pull up the stats for you so that you can see what we're working with. Uh, over the past five weeks, uh, Troy would be favored by 10 and a half points if you just look at the past five weeks of numbers. Grayson McCall, we still do not know if he is going to play in this weekend's game. Uh, he has not played in three weeks, I believe. Or this is the fourth week of a three to six week injury. So yeah, we'll see. You know, Jamie Chadwell has been kind of kind of quiet about it. Uh, if they have to rely on the backup quarterback guest, uh, that's not going to bode well. I will tell you that. Let's let's look at the Coastal Carolina offense first. PPA per pass over the past five weeks actually pretty good, number sixteen. But they are number sixty five in passing success rate, number one eighteen in passing rate. Um, they're only throwing the ball thirty eight percent of the time, which totally makes sense. The issue there is that Troy's defense is number four in PPA per pass, number four in passing success rate allowed, and uh, they don't allow big plays. They're number 24 in passing explosiveness allowed. If you're going to if you're gonna have a way to take advantage of this Troy defense, it would probably be running the football. Uh, Troy, over the past five weeks, only number 103 in stuff rate. They're number 87 in offensive line yards allowed. Uh, the issue is that Coastal Carolina does not run that Chadwell offense very well with that backup quarterback. They're number 101 in PPA per rush and number 121 in rushing success rate over the past five weeks, even though they run the football 60.45% of the time. It's just something to pay attention to because that is certainly something that could you know, if Grayson McCall is back, he runs that offense just to perfection uh, because, one, he's a fantastic passer. But, two, um, it, you have to worry about the, the deep ball. So you're going to bring guys back. Guys aren't going to be as gap sound as they probably should be against something that is uh, akin to a triple option uh, attack. I, I I looked at this a bunch of different times, and I got bit by the fact that I felt like Coastal would be able to put up points on JMU last week regardless. Now, it was a little bit different situation, and I do trust in Chadwell to be able to scheme guys open, but in this situation, uh, with that number being at 8, like I like Troy in this spot quite a bit uh, just because of the defense. Like, Troy's defense is something serious. Uh, give me the Trojan. Minus the eight here. I, I know that Grayson McCall could come back, but even if he does, I don't believe he's going to be 100%. Uh, he's not been practicing thus far. I think that Troy is the significantly better team. John Sumrall getting his team to 11 wins and a conference championship in his first season. Uh, you talk about huge. I mean, that's just a, a big, big deal. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.